This is where it all begins. This is MJ. She's a pure Joe Van Koenigan, bred by Joe Van Koenigan. I bought at the Alberta Classic Auction. This is 332N. I call her Bright Eyed Susie. And at least one of her babies is just hatched. She didn't want to let me see, so there you are. I was hoping to get her feeding. That's her mate, Dutchman 1136 from Bob Dura. These are pure. Johnson stock. Johnson Brothers stock. Hi, I'm Les. And today I'm going to show you how to band a base baby racing homing pigeon. Okay, unfortunately, I had to uh, go to a 2007 band. This is a 2008 baby. And uh, I can't wait any longer. This baby's eight days old. And uh, it's uh, actually fully eight days old so any longer than this you won't get the band on and uh, so you put the band on upside down I'm going to show you how to put a band on a baby that's a little bit too big it's a bit tricky to get the feet in started and I've already put some spit on here now the reason I use spit is because I've found in the past that Vaseline has a tendency to come off so notice the thumb goes back notice that the band is upside down and it's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's not too, too bad for them. I don't pull, because if you pull, you might actually pull this off. Now, note I said this baby's a little bigger than I'd like. You can see that starting to feather a little bit. When they're a little bigger, I use a full-size flight. And when they're smaller, I use a, a tail feather or a secondary flight feather. Okay, you stick the flight feather in here, behind the thumb. Hopefully you don't do what I just did. And pull it out. Sorry, I poked him a little bit there, which I didn't see. He'll be fine, though. Okay, now he was a little bit big to band, and there you go. Unfortunately, I poked him, but like I said, he'll be fine. Okay. Thank okay, this is a fine example of a blue bar racing home pigeon that I bred this year, and he's about uh, 40 days old right now. And as you can see, here's his... CU Racing Ground, it's a Canadian Racing Pigeon Union, 2008, and he's 11281. And he's a pure strain Johnson as well, a long distance line of Johnsons. And um, I think he's going to probably go to the races this year. I might say. Okay, this is an example of a nice light blue check. I think it might even be a little hen. She's a little bit stressed right now. It's puffing. It hasn't been outside before. I usually keep them inside. Don't show them the outside until they're ready to go to the races so they can train at another loft. And one thing I wanted to point out, note that the band is on the right leg, all right, and upside down. That's correct so that the people that are reading them have an easy time reading them. If you put them on the left leg and the right, what looks like the right side up, it's actually wrong for a person that holds a racing pigeon because this is how we hold them, is it like this. Okay. And that's a light blue check. Powder blue, I think you'd call that. So, Alright, I'm going to put her back in now because I don't want her to stress out. 